Let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. The doctor heals the disease, but nature heals. Idleness is the source of all vices. Where there is no idleness, there is no evil. Excessive food causes disease. All disease begins in the gut. Everything is good in moderation. Very often the best medicine is to go without it. Never put off treatment until later. When the brain is healthy and in a calm state, a person thinks, sensibly. The human soul develops until death. Time always contains an opportunity. Any excess is contrary to nature. Doctor's first commandment, do no harm. The drunkenness of fathers and mothers is the cause of the weakness and sickness of children. In despair, the sick person brings himself closer to death. Tell me what you eat, and I'll tell you what ills do you have. Declare the past, diagnose the present, foretell the future. Disease that come from overwork are cured by rest, and those that come from idleness are cured by work. Both sleep and insomnolence, when immoderate, are bad. When in a state of hunger, one ought know to undertake labor. New food can only be taken when the old one is out of the stomach. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. If you are in a bad mood, go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood, go for another walk. Walking is man's best medicine. As to diseases, make a habit of to things, to help, or at least, to do no harm. Life is short, art long, opportunity fleeting, experience treacherous, judgment difficult. Marriage is a fever, inside out, it starts hot, and ends cold. There are in fact a things, science and opinion. The former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. The life so short, the craft so long to learn. Frequent and causelles fatigue, portends an impending illness. Do not tell your illness to anyone, otherwise you risk getting advice that can harm you. Avoid sex in old age, because at this age, it is safer to use other source of pleasure. Men who masturbate two to three times a week have more life. 